Happy Monday, DP. I'm Kobe Coffer, and welcome to you back for another day of Kobe's Corner. First things first, kind of. Are you the kind of person who likes to make things and or likes to look at things other people have made? Well then, the Maker Fair is the perfect thing for you. Our engineering academy is putting on their own Maker Fair. Here's more. The Fair. Maker Fair. So what is the Maker Fair and who are you? I am one of the members of the art team and we are directing the Maker Fair. The Maker Fair will be a completion of works of students in the DPEA and it will be what we've made in class and what they've made in their own free time and it doesn't have to be art it could be anything from like cupcakes to motorcycles one big thing that we wanted to keep about the maker fair is that it isn't about just artwork we didn't want a stigma of nerds walking around with pocket protectors that's that's not what we wanted the engineering academy to be known as we wanted it to be more of something like we're creative people we and more importantly, we're a part of the student body. A lot of kids here are really artistic and have really cool things in their lives that they want to share. We have a lot of really great artists, writers, cinematographers, potters, everything, and we just want to share that through the Maker Fair. We have sculptors, we have bakers, we have writers, we have musicians and performers. We have, we have it all. The Maker Fair is going to be held here at the Engineering Academy on November 22nd, that's a Friday from 5 o'clock to 8.30. Wow, sounds like a lot of fun. I hope you can make it. Now, as you might recall from last week, we did a survey of who's the hottest on campus and who's the coldest on campus. Actually, it was two weeks ago, but don't tell anyone. The results are in. Seems like the hottest on campus was voted the stove at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. I can almost beat that, but not quite. Next story. Our very own Dos Pueblos hacking team, you might remember from last year's Kobe's Corner. Anyway, a group of our students who hack things, they just got back from a national, possibly international, co hacking competition in New York, not even meant for high school students. From November 14th through November 16th, the Dos Pueblos hacking team hacked, learned, and competed in the 10th annual Seesaw Cybersecurity Awareness Week competition. This competition is meant only for college level hackers, but since these students did so well in the qualifying matches a few weeks ago, they were invited to New York to compete. This is the only high school team that has ever been invited to this particular competition. We got 13th out of 15 teams, but, which doesn't sound great, but then when, then when you recall that, we're kind, that we've kind of been doing this for less than a year, six months, and being uh, against undergrads, who are, and, uh, of which kind of, this is, are kind of the best in the world. They placed 13th place in this competition, beating the United States Air Force Academy and the United University of Nebraska at Omaha hacking teams. These are both top level university hacking teams and our very own students beat them. It's pretty amazing the students we have at Dos Pueblos. At one point, they were even leading the competition, placing ninth place. They were beating six other university teams. These students learned a lot on their trip to New York this week and upon their return, they've decided to start a hacking club where you, the student, can learn to do some of the things that they do out there in the hacking world. On a similar note, some of our journalists from Dos Pueblos also found themselves on the East Coast this week, but a little more north, in Boston, competing at the National JEA Convention. Among 54 other students from similar journalism programs across the country, our yearbook team went where the yearbook was showcased on huge human-sized posters it's pretty amazing that all these students from Dos Pueblos are always competing in these national competitions. You should feel very proud of yourselves. I know I do. Thanks for watching Kobe's Corner. I'm Kobe Coffer, signing off.